Yes. Oh. <laughs> so you could be this romantic. Well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I love my flowers. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gates. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Gates. What? This place, it looks nice. Yes. But we would have still done well sticking with our usual spots. Oh, no. Today's a special day and I intend for you to remain like that. Okay? So you just relax. Okay? Okay. I said, relax. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have to relax. I will relax. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what's on the menu? Okay. One more. Um, okay, I'll have a um, boneless chicken with rice in chili sauce. How about you, Vicks? Same. Okay, so Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, you mean to tell me that you have just become an international figure, just like that? <laughs> Babes, come what? on. I am not yet an international figure. Say so. <laughs> it's just an appointment. Uh -huh. You know, it's not like I am going to the hill or outside the country. This is just... Look, look, let me tell you. An appointment with the World Bank. <laughs> it's a world recognition for me. I don't care what you say. I'm so, I'm so happy for you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so babe. proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I love you so, so, so much. No, it's... No, it won't make me blush. Babes. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I love my friends. So beautiful. Yes. See my dress. It smells nice too. <laughs> it smells so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe. What? The food is taking a rather too much. It's true. Relax. I'm sure it's going to be here so. <laughs> relax. Okay. <laughs> I'll relax. Oh. Ah. Only need to say yes, and uh, that ring is gonna be in your finger, and I'll pop this one and make it toast to us. Yes, 
Yes. Yes. Excited for you. Thank you. But you look so beautiful. beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, very Mama much. is here. Maja, oh, oh, take this thing. Uh -huh. We should take care of the headache. Drink. What just? Oh, nothing that you shouldn't take. Oh, okay. That's good. Good. So, um, put. A smile on that beautiful face of yours. It is your wedding day for crying out loud. Oh man. You shouldn't have just said this. You're making me nervous. Why? Please, Dad. Just give me a break. Everyone gets tensed on their wedding day. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, husband to be. You know, I have I have never been married before. Please, Dad, I can do without the sarcasm today. Please, not today. Dad, do you think I'm doing the right thing? Huh? Why wouldn't I say such a thing? What's on a special day like this? What are you talking about? But, Mom, what's wrong with the question? Please leave us. Just say ten minutes. You're all looking beautiful, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Being nervous on a special day like this is not just normal. Yes, it's not just normal, it is not just good. It is also a positive indicator that you possess the strength, the ability to face the challenges that will determine your great future. Dad, I don't think you understand. I'm supposed to be going into this thing as the head, as the man in charge, in the center of everything. But I am not. You and I know, status-wise, I'm down there. You feel so? I don't feel so, Dad. I know so. <laughs> this girl earns more than four times my current salary. And you know how it is when women are the ones in charge and control of things. You know. Okay. <clears throat> if you so much lack self-confidence and you possess this high level of inferiority complex, then you step back. Yes. What are you talking about? Look, what I'm just trying to say is that uh, at the moment, things are not really all going well at place of work. Very poor KPIs and on, on, on deliverable uh, things are, are just making things very low for me at this moment. I'm only scared at how will I cope in our space? How? How will I cope when she's the one and doing everything? <clears throat> so, Listen to me. What I'm about to tell you now, I think if you spare me some few minutes, it will help you. In fact, this is what I should have told you before now. Come on, sir. You see, in a situation like this, you have to sit Yes. Yes. The pre-wedding erase all doubts. Cage the devil. 
clam cold feet. I'm not having cold feet, Mom. I... What is it? I just need to be reassured. Reassurance? What other reassurance do you need? The cards have been printed. The venue has been paid for. Friends and other family members are waiting for you at the venue already. So, madam, pick your beautiful self to the venue, get married to that your handsome husband, and work hard at making your marriage work just the way I and your father taught you. Beautiful you. Thank you, Mommy. That's my girl. Darling. You know I love you so much. I love you too. We want to be fine. Thank you. Mm. Thank I you, Mommy. You I love you. I love you. <laughs> so we have to start going. Okay, okay, that's fine. I, I, I think the makeup artist is already. Okay, she left already. Say? Okay, so let's go, let's go. Please come. Um, Have my veil. In the veil. Have the veil. Mm -hmm. Beautiful thing. Oh, I'm back. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm getting married today. Oh. I'm on hard way. You look beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to be married. Yes. It's <laughs> so bright. I love you so much. I love you. We will not just go take crab body for that moon. We will not go. He make one of the shine like, 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 like this now. <laughs> I told you the funny character. Ah, funny <laughs> uh, James, I think that was what we did. We bit with the honey. That's why we're listening. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> we're <laughs> talk. Now you just take uh, uh, English grammar. Punch him. Nap him. Put him up. I'm listening to you. James, please uh, take hey. out the luggages from the boat. No problem, my guy. <laughs> Such a I know. I said, I scattered. What's all this mess? I don't really like when things are scattered around. What's that supposed to mean? You know my wife. You're not supposed to pack my things for me. 
Did you just say that to me, Richard? Of course. And I'm hungry. What are we eating? Well, I ordered for food from a restaurant. You should be here soon. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. I'm a married man. I expect my wife to cook for me. Of course. I... I... From tomorrow, I'll start cooking. It's just for today. Okay? I'll request for a maid from the office tomorrow. What for? Because I'm entitled to a maid. Besides, Richard, I need someone that can help me with house chores. It's just two of us, including the gate man. I mean, what do you need a maid for? I advise you wait till you get pregnant and you can start requesting for a maid. I thought this thing had expired. I just got home. Mm. Madam, the food where you ordered don't come. Mm, thank you, James. Babes, I did I see you. Just remind me tomorrow to go get the full stuffs and make everything ready for the house, okay? It's fine, babes. Why? I took care of it already. I called my food vendor to bring us back rice, Chibas of yams, gari, oil, everything we need then on my way back from work tomorrow. I'll branch the mall and then get some groceries we need. My God, this is happening so early already. And you, what are you, what are you still doing here? I, I just say my mouth join follow for this food with it. I'm going to get out. You want to put your eyes inside? Come and carry it. Thank you, sir. Ah. Get out of here! Nonsense. No sense. Oh my God, thank you. Hey, you, madam. What were you trying to do? Were you trying to embarrass me in his presence? Huh? I don't understand. Trying to make it look like I cannot provide for my own family? Huh? What? How would you take it down when we currently know I am more than you I was just trying to assist you. That was why I used my own money to take care of the basics we need in the house. While you save yours, you know, for future purposes, it's all for the good of the family. Madam, if I need your help or your assistance, I will ask for it. Until then, stay put. Yes. How much do you pay for the full stuff? Richard. How much? One hundred and eighty-five. By tomorrow morning, I'll transfer the money to your account. Richard! What? That is almost your one salary. It's none of your business. I'm about to serve dinner, so, bitch! If you are going to the walk with this car, what car will I drive to work? Oh, babes, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were ready. Okay, you know what? Let me drop you, okay? As what now? Eh? Well, as what? To show to people that it's your car or what? Huh? That your husband is at, the, at your mercy? I don't understand, but why are you saying this, babes? Why don't you understand? If that's not what you mean, you should relinquish the car keys to me, knowing that I'm the husband. And I should be the one with the car. But it's my car. This car was given to me by my company. I said, what to? For Christ's sake. <laughs> it's all right. No problem. Rub it in. As a matter of fact, go get sponge and scrub it in. Okay? Uh, you need to understand that uh, I once had a car. You know. You know, right? I once had a car. I once owned a car before it got stolen. It, baby, you know what? I don't have time for all this unnecessary drama. Please, take a cab. Uh, Talk like that, okay? Me, drama. <laughs>
think uh, from what I have here, we are good to go. Mm. It's not bad. It's okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think we're good to go, but a little adjustment that needs to be done because I can see those ports here as well. Cynthia, no. you're not. It's as if you're not here with us. Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. Please, where, where are we? Well, um, you have a copy of the um, contract to, to hear about it. Okay. Right. okay. Look who we have here. Having you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Julie. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Zola. That was Thank you so much. Anyway, your well research recommendation has been approved by the head of it. And they have given us the go ahead. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, you guys get out. Okay, okay. Wow. Oh. What a shame feeling like. Yeah. What is she even feeling like? A superwoman or what? Are you jealous? Wait a minute, same thing. Are you a friend or a fool? You are really giving really jealous. <laughs> you see, I think you should just forget about me. Well, let us say that just take a look at the world when you look at so that we can put a few things that should spend. James. Madam, Oga tell me say, me cannot allow you to drive this car. Enter and come back. Are you okay? What rubs are you talking about? Madam, I know if you open them, I know I know I'll lose my work. Inside this compound. I said, save your breath before you ask the next question because yes, I did. And it will remain so until I, your husband, have enough money to buy car food. This is unheard of. Jesus Christ! Jesus. Who does this, Richard? No, you don't expect me to pack my car in someone else's compound or outside the house when we have a very big compound of ours. Your car. Did I buy any car for you? No, did, did I walk into any car lot to say, pick this car for my wife? No! So as far as I'm concerned, you own no car. Alright? So petty. Why are you so petty? It's me that is. Why no, no, what, what was the meaning of all this? Let, let me tell you, Zola. You have to understand that ever since we got married, you've been insulting me. Insult you? How? Richard, how? Anyway, that's my decision and it's final. Okay? Final! What's have it? the car! What's this? What was that? Take it, bitch! Have the car! Let me tell you, Zelda! If you want to have a that kid to me, you have to do it respectfully! Do it respectfully, my friend! Nigga, you have a pain in there, you're chopping the car key for, for me, your husband!
Zilla, why did the woman drop you off just now? Yes. Why? Are there no female colleagues at your place of work that have come this car that come drop you off? Rufus was the only one coming my way. That's why I chummed him. Rufus was the only one coming So that's why you guys came home by this time of night. Can you see how late it is? Jola, where are you coming from? A director in office. His birthday was today. So my office decided to put up a small party at a nearby restaurant. I sent you a message. Didn't you get it? You are beginning to place your colleague at your place of work higher than your husband, isn't it? Huh? You don't even give me a put me any kind of respect anymore. Hey, please stop. All these little things are part of corporate politics. See, if I didn't go or I left too early, it will count against my PR rating in the eyes of my boss. Will you shut your mouth? What I'm trying to let you know is that, be it official or not, you have no right to go anywhere without your express permission from your husband. I don't understand. What's all this? No, what's all this strange attitude? Are you trying to gag my life? No, listen to me. From the moment you said I do, your life ceased to become solely yours. Or were you not taught anything during our premarital uh, uh, counseling? Just because I am married doesn't mean I shouldn't bring. Richard, please. No, no, you're, you're talking back at me. No, no, no. You, you're talking back at me? Huh? Richard, I am not talking back at you. But you've changed. No, look at you. This is not how you were when we were dating. I changed because I know there's a big difference between dating and marriage. You should do the same. So your female, female colleague is not an attack. Like I saw my job, you're all right. Looking everywhere for you. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm here to take my sugar mommy out for lunch. I don't understand. Who's your sugar mommy? Sweet 16 me. Stop playing. I got you. I knew that was going to make you laugh. So <laughs> let's go out for lunch. Um, okay, um, just give me a few seconds. This must be Richard, your husband, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew it. Wow, he's so handsome. Of course, he is. Um, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the wedding. Okay, you're so, lost doing. We're yeah. going for lunch, actually. Can Maybe I take them go? No, nope. I knew you would say that. Anyway, nice to meet you, Richard. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Oh. You're beginning to like this place more than me. Hmm? Yet you were the one saying it's expensive. It's expensive. That's because we can't afford it. Besides, babe, you know the memory of this restaurant holds for me. Of course, you mean my darling. Sorry for us. I'm <laughs> sure this place will continue to hold marvelous surprises for us. Because I thought about getting my beautiful wife something special. Mm. Voila. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Well, not as beautiful as you are. I know I've been stressing you lately, so I thought I should get you something to, you know, appease the gods. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. And can you help? I was with the account manager earlier this morning. I told him to create a Dual account for the both of us. That's where your salary will be paid into it. You did what? Not in our computer. You did what? I don't understand why you choose here and now to tell me about this. Just spilled that. Spilled what? Why do you keep doing this, Richard? You see, look 
I was just going to tell you later in the evening. Oh my goodness. You, 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 you know what? You want? Don't spoil this moment. Let's forget about it. We'll talk about it when we get home, okay? We'll talk about it when we get home. About what? You know what? I'm done. I'm so done. I've lost my appetite. Believe it. What about the food? I placed an order already. You, you know the food is expensive here. It is expensive. It's fine. I'll food the bill. What? I said I'll food the bill. I don't want to stand you, Richard. I don't get it. Why do you keep doing this to me, Richard? No, 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 no
Come on, give rights. And the and that what's your matter? That my friend I told you gets married soon. You know, it feels so so real that um everyone in my circle is getting married. I guess I've got a blessing. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. Let me quickly fix it, okay? Oh. What's all this fuss about? Why are you making it look like it's you are supposed to be keeping personal things from me? So it's fine for you to keep secrets from me, right? Do I even have the password to your phone? Is that what you want to say? Is, you know, we cannot share our password with your gender because anything you see like this, you will blow out of proportion. So it's better we keep our things to ourselves. No way. That's not an issue, You have no rights. I mean, you had no right whatsoever to tamper with my account without my permission. I don't understand. Anyway, if you must know, I also transferred 70% of my, my total income into that account. Because as you know, the amount we are paying for this place is really much and it's going to increase by next year. It's better we save enough money to build our own place, isn't it? It's not like I don't understand you, Richard. Look, I don't, I don't have your back when it comes to planning our, our future. But I don't like the way you jump into these things. I don't like it. I thought we agreed on coming together, talking about these things before you go ahead with handling these issues. You promise? I'm tired, Richard. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of all this small misunderstanding. Me too. So I give you my word. It's not happening again. Hmm. A whole son in law. My darling son in law <laughs> came to <laughs> visit me. And I don't have have any alcohol in the house. Oh, uh, come on. Should I be mocked? I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. Are you I sure? just wanted to surprise you. And I actually have. I don't expect you to have anything for me. Are now. you sure? Of course, my little mama, I'm sure. Uh, the main reason I actually came here is to ask for your account details because I would like to be, you know, sending some money for upkeep for you and uh, my little one. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Okay, Thank you very much, my dear. Sorry. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll save it as a beneficiary. <laughs> yes. Thank you, my son. Okay. Send hundred thousand. Eh? Yes. No, 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 no. For now. No, 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 no. For now. Thank you very much. your boss. Thank you. So how are you doing? It's such a joy to have. Oh. I appreciate you. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Even if I was not okay before. <laughs> I am I think I'm good to go now. 
It's not a bit better. A bit? I don't understand. A bit? I mean, I just went to Toro Bar. I flossed. I used all the deodorants I, I could put my hands on. Besides, I'm not using that cream again. I didn't even touch a dime on my skin. So a bit, where? Maybe you should uh, spray some more pen. Or better still, take it out more. So you can be spraying it intermittently. Babes, are you... I have... Are you... Are you for real? Am I really smelling? Are you sure it's not your nose? Because I can't perceive anything except the perf and deodorant I use. Are you sure it's not your nose? Maybe it's my nose. Okay. Just try and take a perfume with you so you can spray it intermittently. That's you. Okay. Babes, for real, I'm a nice man. Maybe it's my nose, you know. Maybe it's my nose. Yeah. Uh, nice perf. Um do you do you like the way I I smell? Um well a little too harsh I I should say. Smells like you're trying so hard to conceal an unpleasant foul stench. Really? My apologies. I mean, I didn't mean to embarrass you. Just taking the fact. Uh, where are they getting foul smell from? Something must be wrong with my nose. That's a uh, wait for me. Oh, I, I was thirsty. Don't worry. It's a minor forgivable sin. So, how did it go? Hmm. She got the exact impression you wanted me to convey to her. My sister, it was such a sudden incident. I just hope he's all right. No, well, uh, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, uh, um, yes. Your wife told me that you were resting upstairs, so I told her not to bother you for my sake. Oh, I see. Babe, um, a colleague of mine have just been admitted, and I want to go with to him. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Let me get my pack. All right. Yeah. All right. See you soon. You want something to drink? Um, no. Um, right from the very first moment I said my eyes on you, I've never stopped imagining you and me together. Stop it. Oh, please, don't pretend like you don't want me to. I saw the way you were ravaging me. I fell out of your face the other day. My wife, okay, stop it. Tinder. Ah, you can pretend for Africa. If you really don't want me, why are you also speaking in hush voice? You're still sitting here. Mm -hmm. Here, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's back. Baby, looks good. I'm going to All right, bye, Richard. Let's go. <laughs>
Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you doing? I did fine. Um, please, can you open the gate? I have a message to deliver. Uh, my madam, don't go walk. I know. I'm not here to see you, madam. I'm here to see your guy. I have a very important message for him. Okay. Make her go tell and say, first thing they ask and forget. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. I mean, there's no point stressing him to come downstairs and going back again. Just open the gate, please. Madam, wait, what about you when they say you go come down? Go inside, go meet her, come back again. No be stressed with that. All right. No problem. When the problem comes, I mean the real problem, just make sure that you're man enough to tell him and your madam that you were the one who refused me in. Hey, madam, take her easy. Huh? Wait you now. Person they follow you play. They tell you I won't collect, collect Roger from you. May I open gate for you, I beg? Better. saying again huh don't they say that if the mountain won't go to Mohammed then Mohammed can jolly well go to the mountain I have my reservations about desperate women oh, please what call me whatever you want I want you <laughs> so so badly. what's wrong with you I'm married okay I'm not gonna tell your wife if you don't <laughs> seriously look I'm not wired to date two women at the same time. I'm not emotionally wired that way, okay? Fine. Then get rid of her. Yes, get rid of Ziola. Because I'm not backing down on you. You must be joking, right? Oh, really? The other day at the restaurant, even the other day in your house, I could sense the tension between both of you already. Look, you are mistaking a minor misunderstanding between husband and wife as something big in your head. That's what you're doing. Liar. That's what you are. A liar. Just so you know, I'm a great mind reader. I can tell that you're regretting your marriage already. So don't pretend, okay? Like I said, I am not backing down. And like I said, I am not emotionally wired to date two women at the same time. It has to be over between I and Zola before anything can happen between you and I, okay? Fine. Right. Hold on. Um, hold on. Um. Okay. 
Come in. Um, Zuma, I'm um, wondering if... Did you just fart? Excuse me. What do you mean by you just fart? No! Fart and perfume smells like rotten egg. <gasps> anyway, hey, I'm leaving you on to the eggs, you know. Again, what's going on? I can't perceive anything. We're just perceiving the bed. What's going on? Do you know that your wife? practically locked herself up in her office, avoiding everyone else as much as she could. That's good. That's, that's a good step. Not really. Why? I mean, a weak, fortunate one, I would rather say. For how long do you think this charade will go on before she finds out that she's being played? Don't worry, she's not going to find out. If only you knew this is the only first step and there are medication and drugs with side effects that causes terrible body odor. Great self-doubt in her mind, confusion, a state of uncertainty where she questions her own reality. You have to mess with her mind a little before you hit her with the real thing. And what do you mean by that? Look, I'm sorry. Nothing can happen, can ever happen between you and I. It can never be an item, okay? So just get that through to yourself. <laughs> that must be a joke, right? <laughs> you know I can literally walk out of this place right now, straight to your wife, and expose your scheme to her? <laughs> and tell her what? Mumu, tell me. And tell her what exactly? That you tried to sleep with me or you tried to rape me and I refused and then you decided to somehow magically expose all the talent in my cupboard? Get out of my house. <laughs> ah, if you think you can use me for your dirty Get out! out! It wasn't end of me yet. Don't know that. Am I smelling? <laughs> Forgot my dad. Yes, you did smell. Did you, you know how you did smell? You did smell where, where? Uh, like, really, um, well, well, like, 
Am I smelling awful or am I smelling really, really good? I don't understand. Uh, am I smelling? <clears throat> Madam, this kind of question when you ask me now, you don't think you say you did try to tempt me. Because which kind of mouth I won't use talk, say, my ogre wife, it is smell like this, like that. You know what? Never mind. What is it again, Richard? I played your little game the other night without a fuse. You did well, Doctor. Calm down. I only called you here because I want you to do one or two things and it has to do with my wife. I'm sure you know blackmail is a serious crime. Oh, please. We're, we're past that, okay? We're past that. Okay. So what do you want this time? Hmm. We are talking. Listen. My wife will be coming to you to confirm if she has body odor. You need to confirm that she does. Not that you're going to heal her or anything, but I want you to be pushing her back and forth, up and down, until I'm ready. For goodness sake, Richard. What? That's unethical. Look, I don't want to... No, do you, do you want to lose your, 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 your practice? No, if you are ready to lose your practice as, as a medical doctor, you let me know. Then I will report to the medical council about what you did to that little girl years back. Oh, oh yes. I will tell. Mm -hmm. You better calm down. Calm down, because you are, all these things are making it look as if it's a big deal. It's not. Just relax. Get two big practitioners and, and I'll pay them 100k each. It's as simple as that. Um, well, I don't think um, there's anything serious from what I've seen here. I don't know of anything that might have caused this. Doctor, at, at first, my husband and I, we thought it was a particular cream I was using. Okay. But I've stopped using it. In fact, as we speak, I've postponed the use of any sort of cream for now. I see. Um, did you change your diet? No. Okay. Well, like I said, no need to panic. All right, I'll place you on regime of vitamin supplement for two weeks. Hmm? Let's see how it goes. Thank you, doctor. Okay. You don't look too good. Is everything all right? Mm -hmm. you, you started the game. Don't go here. Sit down. Fine. <sighs> but um, your partner's been trained you. Why is my son in there? He just stepped out. I hope that you people have not started fighting at this early stage of your marriage. Nothing like that. See, Mom, I'm really stressed. Work has been really hectic for me. The stress. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it is work, then it's fine. Do you know how many people are praying for your kind of job? Not just her kind of job, mm -hmm. any job at all. Two of my classmates, auntie, have been looking for a job since they got three years ago. Three years. And they are just managing small, small jobs. Mm -hmm. I am not going. 
you really, really knock down. <laughs> Don't start acting like a stranger. Okay, come, oh, let's go to the kitchen. Something very delicious. Mom, do it you soon. <laughs> Yes, orange juice. Come in, too. Let me have a treat, please, Olivia. Thank you. Thank you. Can you perceive anything? Yes, the aroma is killing. No, I don't mean the aroma, the food aroma, no. Like, can you perceive anything awful? I we don't understand. Okay, do I? Am I smelling bad? Do I stink? No, why do you think so? You know what, never mind. Um, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Are we not going to wait for your husband? Mama, please eat up. He might come back many weeks. Mm, I want to see Brother Richard finally leave home. Mm. Yes, now. Ah, we will wait for him to get back before we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, are you perceiving any order from sister? Emilia! What? Maybe my nose is not functioning properly. Mama can give you a better opinion. What kind of order are you talking about? I don't know. Ask her. Mama. It's like, um, like I'm having body odor for reasons. I don't, I don't really know. Mama, please, please, please. I cannot perceive any odor. And how can anyone tell? In the way you're drenched in perfume. There's only rice and chicken that I can, I can perceive here. This is very, very mild. Compared to when I'm going out of the house, either to the office or going out, I almost empty bottle of perfumes. Mama, you won't believe yesterday, after all the perfume I mixed the spray, I got to the office, my colleague was telling me I smell very terrible. Mama, I was so embarrassed. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> That's even possible. Never had no good on your My son is all alone. I was rushing down to see you because I knew you were coming. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. How are you, doing, man? you are the best son in the world. Oh, Mama. <laughs> Welcome. How are you? So you decided to follow Mama this time around to come and see us. Good. My dear, why are you serving them water? Where's the wine? I forgot to chew the red wine. It's still inside the cart of Mama, let me get upstairs. Put the wine in the fridge and I'll be back, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I'm coming. Thank you, my son. Is he smelling the him Udo as well? He was the first to notice. Yeah, you're so funny. Ah, this one. She has been cracking me up since she came back from school. Is that so? Ah, this one, one even, Uncle Richard, is not funny. Mm. If you hear the one that my friend told me in school, ah, he'd be rolling on the ground. Really? It's okay. <laughs> my son. Mama. You have been wonderful. Thank you for taking good care of us. You are too much. God will bless you. Hey, my dear, I forgot to tell you. He sent us some money a few days ago. I was just sitting down and my phone just went off like that. I got an alert. When I checked my phone, hmm, 
Money. Money. He keeps doing that. He does that all the time. Just sitting down there, money will just enter like that. It's nothing, okay? I'm just glad that you brought her here. Your family. Boys of nowadays, they don't know what this ones you are saying, no. Eh? They don't even allow their indoors come near the gates. Not to think of coming into the house. And taking care of them the way you are taking care of us. Mama, mama, of course I will take care of you guys. I mean, she's all that I have. She means the whole world to me. Same as you and her sister. You are too much. You are too much. You are the man. Mama, it's okay. It's not that. Allow me to raise you. Let me raise you. Allow me to raise you. Let me say it the way it is. We don't miss you words. How many men take care of your in-laws the way you do? Doing a great job, my son. Thank you. And God will bless you. Amen. I just wish that her father was alive to see the reward of labor. Mama, I'm sure Papa will be happy and proud wherever he is. Very happy. Hey, <laughs> lucky girl. She said, your sister is very lucky. You are a lucky girl. You're not lucky. You're not lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky. No, 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 babes, jokes apart, forget that fact that I'm laughing with you, okay? In fact, it's crazy. Why they even blow this grandma? They're mad. A very silly girl, I swear. No, 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 you the phone say you're too busy now. You're busy past me. Where you know if you carry your two left leg, Waka come with me. Thank you, babes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My husband. Mouse Boko gave me drink. Oh. Thanks, babes. <laughs> Come on, shut up. Shut up that business. Love key you there, idiot. <laughs>
don't want to tell this man in this part. Alright, so solidified our financial influence with regional countries. We are supposed to assist them to give a very good accountability analysis and that we must do. Yes, you sir. understand? Where is that file I ask you to submit this morning? Um, I think uh, it's the... Sorry, when you're supposed to do Mrs. Dola, you were supposed to be addressing this meeting now. Uh, yes, yes, sir. I'm, I'm not one. Anyway, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Spare us your excuses. As you can see, we are gathering for another attempt. You can have your seat, please. Thank you, sir. What's this smell? Mrs. Zola, are you okay? It's obvious because there's a persistent smell that is coming from your direction. I mean, take a day off, a medical leave so that you can fix yourself, okay? Right. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Let's just take a 30 minutes break. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. James, now? Why are you wasting time? Am I dreaming? You are not dreaming. Get, get, get out! See, waiting. No, be saying you say make I dismiss your body. Now see that time. What's this? What is the meaning of this? On my bed! Okay. On my bed! Hey. I don't fumble. I don't craze. James, you are a madman. What do you never do for this life, eh? Who for 40 years don't they do this thing come? Eh? Why you allow devil to push you? <laughs> now me push devil. Devil don't push me. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So now, so thief go come, jump inside it, go the dance, you no go hear anything. Oga, okay. they no born the thief. Mm. They no born the thief way. Me, I be thief. The thief not the thief thief. Ah. Anyway, how much be that salary where they pay you? Oga, okay, why you they ask me now? How much be your salary? Uh, uh, thirty five k, you don't jam me. Thirty five thousand. So hey, in this in this current economy, Oga, okay. that's not attainable. You better pass nothing. Uh, no, you don't. I demand it. I go beef you up. I go beef you up. Eh? That. I go change down to sixty thousand. Hey! Oga, okay. leave me alone. You want to carry me? Do you want to lift me off the floor? Oga, okay. Oga, okay. God will bless you for me. Leave me alone, James. 
You know, that is not even what I want to even discuss with you. Okay. Can you keep it secret? Here! Wait, I talk him. Wait, I talk him. Wait, I'm Okay. She, you don't keep my love. Hey! She make me jealousy. How you go talk, say I don't keep my lovely wife? Shut up your mouth there. Okay. Shut up. What? Okay. Anytime you fight with uh, uh, Madam, I know the thing we say you won't kill her, you won't kill her. Oh, today I just want you to be able to do something for me. Eh? I want you to do well. Madam, make her do it. Make her give her a punch. I want you to impregnate, Madam. Mm -hmm. Shh, shh. If you predict that finish, we shall see the thing enter. I'll give you two hundred and fifty dollars. No best, no best. I won't make sure that you are the follow talk. Okay? Mm -hmm. Talk him again. I see. What makes you give Madame Bene? Hey! Yeah. It's okay. Oga, okay. Oga, this kind of way you talk. Don't go put me for jail now. Open your mouth there. I will give you two hundred and fifty thousand. Shut up your mouth there! Shut up! Is that, is that what we are telling you? Oganovi convert. Oh, shut up your mouth. Just to make sure you do what we, we, we told you to do. If the thing enters, we confirm. I will give you the first, first payment. Hmm. Oga, you sure say now you the follow me talk so? I mean, uh, My chest is cutting. They could do one like that. I need that thing to happen. So make sure you do it for me. That one himself, no big problem. Me, I know the baby food again. Correct. Wait, you should sure say, Madame will clean. Because I don't want to do this. Madame, you know about that. What she could pretend like, say, no one to answer my evil name. You want to shake it? We don't be company now, waiting. Keep that, keep, keep that. We are business partners. Keep our secret. I want me. Okay, she'll see. I go drop, I go drop, I go drop. <laughs> ball, ball! Shake me, I beg. Two fifty. It be like see God get reason where they make people happy. I never danced like this before. So better they come, oh better they come. <laughs> better they come, oh better I come. <laughs> make I no fear. It a better for me, oh. Where my music? <laughs> Hi! God! Ah, the music don't really finish. He don't... Ah! <laughs> See, they play! They play! They play! They play! Person said we could follow his wife do something. Like Mumu Sote! I go... I go do him. Disgust, I feel. Looking at this trash of a thing. I mean, how could you? What? You sent me up with the game. So, I, I, is that what cheap excuse is going to come up with? So, you're not just only a, a, a smelling prostitute, you're also a cheap one. What? what? Is this what you do behind my back? No, no, no. Is this what you do with your smelly self behind my back? So you would allow James into my own bed? Ah! <laughs> James tried to rape me. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You will tell that to my dad and your mother. After I'm done, Richard, we just. But we'll get your spirit. 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 We'll get Yes, 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 yes,
just it. It's either one of the two. Accept the divorce or accept to live in this house under my own rules and regulation. You're not being fair to me like this. We're past all of that. We're past all of that. Please. No, we haven't. Richard, you have to believe me. I did not invite James to our room. No, take a good look at James. Look at me. I don't understand. Are you going to respond to my proposal or not? Richard, I don't want to divorce you. Why? Because you are scared of this scandal that would um, erupt from you. No! Because I love you! <laughs> Look, I'm no longer sure about that. As a matter of fact, this second chance I'm giving to you is as a result for you to show and prove to me that you can be a wife material, a real wife material. I am being a true wife to you. I don't understand what you mean by housewife. Where is this coming from? For you to have the ability to become a full-time housewife, you have to stop your work. Simple. No, no, I can't. You see, I said it. So it will give you enough excuse for your infidelity. Going around with your male colleagues. Stop it! 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 Stop Very nice place, I mean, really nice place. Yes. I like the I think it's the best sitting in the room. It's not a secret. I can give it to you. I can give it to you. Goodness knows. She looks completely shallow of herself. She even stinks worse. Ha! <sighs> I am sorry for the discomfort. But you shouldn't have come. It would have been better if you could. Yeah, you are you are right, but um the director insisted that we checked on you in person. That's why we're here. Siola, is this the same you? You're a complete shadow of yourself. I am battling depression. That should gladden you and do it. You have never been happy. The fact that I was brought outside the establishment and made managing director ahead of the two of you. Listen, Isola, I can't pretend I didn't feel slighted or envious. But I can't take delight in seeing you or anyone going into depression. For what? I'm not that kind of person. It doesn't even matter anymore. You. Do it and do the best. Can't take back your position. It's all over. What are you talking about? So, you have seen my wife's condition? Because this was not how my wife was when she started working with you guys. I'm beginning to suspect that someone must have used jazz to, to jazz her to a place of work. Come to think of it, my dear, haven't you thought about it? Look. Guys, this will be the last time my wife will be coming to that place of work, and that is final. I don't know why, after all the treatments of 
been put on. I'm still not getting better. In fact, it's getting worse. It confounds me also. With all the dermatology tests and treatment, I don't know why your body is resistant. Um, doctor. Yes, please. Do you think it's it's spiritual? Like, am I being buried? Stop talking like that. We don't believe in such things. We don't. I was actually going to suggest that you flown abroad for a second look. Perhaps there is something a specialist dermatologist might have missed. And um, I think India will be okay. Yes. And if that's okay by you, I'll start making the arrangement. So, what did Dr. Ben say? He said I needed to go for treatment abroad. Maybe that's what we should have done in the first place. Yeah. I just hope the, the money in our joint account will be enough to see me through. Um, he suggested India, and I've asked him to make the arrangement already. Joint account, Kwa. What happened to World Bank? Yeah. Uh, you're not one of the advocates. Are they supposed to take care of your medical bills? The same war bank you asked me to resign from. Yeah, but you haven't resigned, have you? And uh, you are signed on to the HMO. Why don't you take advantage of that? Well, I haven't registered yet. I was planning to do that next year. You say? I said I haven't registered. They are planning to do that next year, Richard. Hmm. This problem... There's a big problem. I, I, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> uh, there's problem. Pro problem how, Richard? Hope the money in her joint accounts. No, the accounts I have put my all. Because majority of the money belongs to me, Richard. I know it. I hope it's intact. There's no money. There's no money. No lying. There's no money. No money. I don't understand. No. What do you mean, no money? Richard, no money. Um, uh, the joint accounts, more than five, five million naira. Yes. I can't, I can't, I can't remember signing any check with you, Richard. Please tell me I'm joking. It's about signing, you know I always have my beer. I always know what to do about this. But uh, in this case, I have to use the money for school. Told me that was going to happen from A to Z. Is it <laughs> She has become a complete vegetable at my beck and call. I told you. I told you. <laughs> if it works with your mom, why would it not work with your wife also? Mm -hmm. hey, but you see, Papa, I had to apply extra creativity when it came to that uh, stinging, the uh, smelling part, because I I made sure I I applied some pharmaceutical chemical to ensure that she smells. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you need to go that far? Papa, I needed to have gone beyond that because you see that's Jula you are saying. She's very smart. If I did not do it that way, she would know that there's something going on. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what if the chemical now cause damage to her organs? Mm -hmm. It would be unfortunate, Papa. I don't know. But I had to do what I had to do. <clears throat> anyway, I had to do it. That's okay. That's okay. No problem. The important thing is that you have to 
clean her off enough money so that you and the two can elope to USA. She doesn't understand it now. Hmm? You understand? You understand? Any other advice you feel like should? Uh, one more thing. Okay. You have to pack your things. Get your things ready, eh? So that in case this her health issue is becoming a problem, eh? You have to move immediately. You understand? Hey. My darling daughter. Yes. My son told me you were sleeping. Uh, yes, I'm awake now. Ah, look at you, look at you. Um, should I make you anything to eat? Um, no, no, no. I, I think I'm fine. I'm fine. With the wine, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. My daughter, look at you. <laughs> Beautiful girl. Sir. Where are you going to? I'm going home to see Prashna. There's enough AC in this house now. It's not the same as Prashna. We're here until this. Okay, so it's okay. Okay. Oh, I hope you're okay. <sighs> yes, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Ah, Mama! Ziola! Mama! Mr. Richard, she will be fine. Yeah, it's like she suffered from some sort of suspended shock that caused her unconsciousness. I was fearing the worst. It's okay. There's complication though. She's, she's pregnant. And that shock almost caused her the pregnancy. But it's okay, we were able to manage it. Oh, but that should be happy. Oh. I mean, is this a good news? Considering the gaming house we have been feeding her, did that make the unborn baby? Doctor. Zola is where? The hospital? What happened? Now that um, <coughs> Ziola is pregnant, what are you going to do with her and the child? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Ziola has become a non entity to me. She doesn't exist. And for the child, I will try as much as possible to be a father figure to, to him or her, with or without her approval. And that's final. Okay. <coughs> no problem. Um, so, uh, are you expecting anyone? Oh, how did they even get past the gate? Who is that? Who is that? What are you doing here? Ah. Who are you? I'm trying to ask for you and your father are under arrest. For what? For what? For what? For attempted murder of your wife, fraud, and other sundry offenses that will be determined at the court of law. <laughs> But how am I involved in all this? How am I involved? You both are advised to remain silent because whatever you say or do now will be used against you at the court of law. And be reminded that the house is being surrounded by policemen. Give me your two hands. Straight for Why? You tried not to do anything for me. Give me your hands. But I'm not... But... But I'm not involved. No, gentlemen, move. Out! How did I get myself involved in this, for God's sake? Medical career. My image, my credibility. Look at me, uncle. Oh, I did. Oh. 
far, we would have lived a very happy life. But if I survive this with my baby, you will never have anything to do with this child. Damn. By the time you manage to come out of prison, my child will truly know the devil he had as a father. Oh, my friend, move. Move! Get out! No, 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 hold on. As for the divorce option, my lawyer is working on it. Take it. Oh. My friend, move. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Why are you please? Move. 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 I told you this would not work. Did I tell you? My friend, I told you that this idea would not work. But still, you insisted to tell me. What kind of training I did? kind of training is this that has led us to this thing? Get into the car. Come here. Don't try to be funny. Try it again and forget the bullet or whatever. Get it. Move into the car. But, Come. My friend, get it. What do you want to tell me? Eh, you cannot keep your secret and you cannot keep your mouth. Keep your mouth shut. Don't oh, get out, get out of here. You fuck up your mouth. Don't keep your mouth shut. All the money I gave to you, you had no right to even get me in any way. Don't have to do hell with your medical career. My life is over. Remember, you are meant to make silence. Um, so, I don't know. Let's just go through this and find out why. We are having too much. Let's see. Okay. And so. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Hi, Cynthia. You look so good. Thank you. It feels good to be back to this office. Mm -hmm. I think I'll miss you guys so much. Mm -hmm. So, so much. <laughs> I miss you. Miss it. How are you? Good morning, sir. You're welcome. How have you been? I'm fine. It's yeah. nice having you back. Thank you so much. And I didn't see Miss Julia. Oh, Mrs. Doyle. She resigned. She resigned as the assistant director. Oh. It's high time. You take back your position. I feel so honored, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's good having you back, yeah? Thank you. Uh, please, uh, give me the file. That's that. Okay, this is for you. Okay, this is for you. So, uh, I want you to go through this file. Put every name into our system. Huh? Please, it should not be any mistake. It's, it's the best contract we ever got in this. Done. Done. <laughs> So perfect, a friendship built on lies. Your words so convincing, pretending to sympathize. But behind those innocent eyes, a mastermind. Re 
side.